D&D does not help us tell good stories. D&D is mostly terrible at that. And you're all thinking right now, but I've told great stories with D&D, and so have we. We have. It wasn't the game that was doing that, because you can't evaluate a role-playing game by your experiences alone. You can only evaluate it by what is actually written in that book. Right. You know, a lot of people try and tell me, you know, I say D&D is not a role-playing game, or it's a bad role-playing game, and they're like, no, I just had the greatest D&D session, we have this great story going, everything's amazing. And I'm like, that's all you. What part of that did D&D make happen? And they can't tell me. Right? They just come up with some other excuse. Listen, we can roleplay Monopoly. Good sir, get off my Atlantic Avenue. Post haste. Him and I'm playing a right? crazy guy. Does my that, character doesn't want money. Right? Does that make Monopoly a roleplaying game? Because we can roleplay, we can create a good story around the game of Monopoly. That doesn't mean Monopoly is a roleplaying game. You're giving Monopoly credit for the thing that you did all on your own. It was you all along. <laughs> right? D&D is the magic feather. You don't need D&D to fly. You don't. You can fly on your own. You don't need this weird system that all it really does is tell you how to move around in the dungeon and stab things. So my character before, he's confronted through the Game Master with this world. We're going to have some conflict. What is my character? My character is literally nothing more than that in Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> now you might think, I think they're laughing at the Finn up in the corner. <laughs> now you might think that your character has a lot going on, trouble. but that is really all that's there. And we're not just talking about Dungeons & Dragons. Pathfinder, uh, pretty much our Werewolf, all these games are basically mechanically sort of Call of Cthulhu, mostly the same game. They're different combat skins on what is essentially the same role playing. Right, it's like oh, in, in L five R you can die really easily and you use D tens, but in D and D you use a D twenty. It's like yeah, it's the same idea though. It's it's all yeah. You know. So if I'm going to tell the story of my character here. I'm not going to talk about my strength stat. That's not interesting. And it turns out that that's the only part of my character that is character, that is story, who he knows, what he's done, where he's going, why he fights for what he fights for. That's it. And that whole character sheet, that's it. Yeah, so, you're trying to tell me this is a role-playing game, but what percentage of it has anything to do with role-playing? That percent. And most of that is a picture. Now, you've been in this boat before. Right there under relationships, you write that Kelvin Blackstaff is your uncle. You really love Kelvin Blackstaff, don't you? It's my go-to example. You know what? We should go with Drist as your cousin. I hate That's why we should go with it. <laughs> ah, we'll get to uh, that later. Yeah. So, I write down in my character sheet, in that tiny little space for character background, that Kelvin Blackstaff is my uncle. Game Master doesn't give one shit about that. That's There's no rule the in the book that says anything about that. If Calvin Blackstaff is your uncle, then you get plus one. No, there's nothing like that, right? It's just something you made up in this text area they gave to you, and nothing in the book makes that matter whatsoever. If you're going to make that matter, that's something you do on your own, not something D&D makes matter. So of all of that, how much of this does D&D make matter? Well, pretty much, that much. just race. That's the, that's the biggest stretch I could even make to have anything highlighted on this. 